When was the last time you went shopping? This morning, actually. I went to a supermarket to buy something for breakfast. I bought a bag of cereals and a bottle of milk. I also bought some fruits like berries and bananas, which I plan to eat tonight. Do you like shopping for clothes? Yes, I really like that. I especially like to go and to buy suits. I had to wear a suit for university course and ever since then I fell in love with them. So anytime I have to buy a suit for an occasion, I am really happy. When it comes to the other clothes, I am not that enthusiastic. Do you often go to a shopping mall? Not that often, to be honest. And I don't go there to buy anything. I do go there three times per month. But the reason why I go is to watch a movie in a cinema. Every mall that I've visited has a cinema. I only go to the mall when I know that a new movie that I like is released. What was the most expensive piece of clothing that you bought? It was a suit for which I paid 200 euros. It was this great elegant suit that I have to this day and it still fits me. I bought it for my sister's wedding and it was my other sister who told me to buy it because it looks really good on me. To this day I wear it. Sometimes I wear just the pants or the jacket because even separately they look good on me. Do you spend a lot of money on groceries? Not a lot of money because I take care not to overspend. For me it's important. I eat healthy food, vegetables and fruits are not that expensive. I've noticed that unhealthy food is quite expensive. Also, since I'm somebody who doesn't waste food, I don't need to buy more of it. You will have 60 seconds to prepare and then you will speak for between 60 to 120 seconds. Start speaking now. I'm somebody who always went to the gym and I was always proud that my personal fitness was at a high level. But due to some medical issues, I wasn't able to train for half a year and I was not happy with the results of that. I wasn't happy with the way I looked and I wasn't happy with the fact that my stamina was low. So I set a goal that in three months I will get back to where I was. This was actually too ambitious because it actually took half a year to get back to where I was before. I have to say uh, it was really difficult for me because once you stop it's really difficult to restart and I had to put in a lot of effort in order to start exercising again. Because I kept thinking about how much effort I will need to put in order to get back to where I was. It was a lot and it would overwhelm me at times. But I told myself that I will get there by constantly working out day by day. And once I reached my previous fitness level, 
I actually kept going further and after half a year I was amazed at what I was able to achieve. I was in the best shape of my life and it actually motivated me to study and become a personal fitness trainer. I contacted a friend who was a personal fitness trainer and he gave me the books that he had. I studied and I passed the test. Do you think it's important to set personal goals? If you want to get somewhere in life, it's of crucial importance. You will not achieve anything in life unless you set goals. They are the things that motivate us and they are the things that guide us through life. I think that we need goals in order to make our lives interesting and fulfilling. How do our goals change as we grow older? I think that most of us, when we were kids, we had childish goals which were unrealistic. Maybe that's not fair. I mean, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid. And I wouldn't say that uh, that's unrealistic. But you might say that those goals were too big. I think that as we grow older, we are more realistic with our goals and we know better what we want. Our personality changes as we grow older, so it stands to reason that I, that our goals will change as well. When do you think somebody should give up on a personal goal? When it's an unrealistic goal. Also, when it's a goal that has taken too much from us already. I think that all of us should have a limit when it comes to what we are prepared to do for a goal. And we should abandon that goal when we reach those limits. I had to abandon a few of my goals because of this. What makes a personal goal good? When it's something that we truly want. What makes a personal goal good is when it's truly our own and not the goal that somebody else has set for us. Sometimes we want to do things in order to impress others. And I think those goals are not good. Only when they truly come from us are they good goals. In your opinion, What is the best way to motivate oneself in order to succeed in life? We should always be aware why we are doing things. We shouldn't focus too much on the things that we are doing. We should focus on the why. On the why we are doing things. If we focus on the mundane and monotonous activities, we will be demotivated. But if we make ourselves look at the bigger picture, that's where we will find the source of motivation.